Do you ever have those moments where you just can't help but be like, grrr? No, no, not, not, <laughs> but grrr. I like to call that mildly infuriating. And I have some clips here, some pictures maybe, just a collection of things that make you go, grrr. The infuriating way I have to do my laundry. I mean, what kind of genius puts your... Wow, and that goes the other way. What a tool. Surely there's a better way of doing that. Surely. There's just... Just just shift them that way. Or the cable's that stretched. Me. Bites into burger. Everything on the opposite end of the burger. That is mildly infuriating. However, I've got a technique. I learned this over the years. If you have your hands like that, and then you have these two hat fingers underneath the bun, you can somewhat keep it together. Try it, trust me, it works. That's actual advice. A little bit to the right, please. Joker. How relevant, because whoever took that is an absolute joker, because he must be blind. You are now breathing manually. You've now realized there's no comfortable spot in your mouth for your tongue. You are now manually holding your jaw up. You haven't blinked in a few seconds, go ahead and blink. You realize you can see a little bit of your nose all the time, right? Oh my god! Oh my god, he's right! Brother-in-law thinks it's hilarious to keep sticking this on our house windows. <laughs> I mean, what? If that's in a bed, in front of a bedroom, very strange. Hello, love. Take your patch off. This fucking fork. <laughs> wow. Why would you design a table like that? What kind of idiot does that? And I'm sure that plate as well is fake. It looks very fake. What kind of idiot designed that? I won't set up Apple Pay and don't buy extra space to back up my phone so I constantly have three notifications. Yes, I have that. It annoys the hell out of me. I don't have an iPhone, but I have a phone where I have a friggin' notification that's always showing. I've been in the app. I don't know what the friggin' hell the notification is, but it does my head in. Look at that shit. Why is that not going away? Mildly infuriating. No words needed. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why would you even decide so you've parked up and then you're going to put that ramp out? You wouldn't even think to put it out because clearly, look, he's not going to get back in. People who do this. This is even worse when you go into a shop and it's like, you'll just, you'll pick up a loaf of bread and then you'll go down to like, I don't know, buy, get some potatoes. And then randomly in the potato aisle, there's like a box of cereal just sat in there with the potatoes. Like, why the hell have I been picked up? Why has somebody dro dropped me here? These are potatoes. These aren't brown flakes. I was so excited about my new pair of black jeans. Not anymore. Well, what's wrong with them? Wow. <laughs> Way to save on material. Let's just pretend they have pockets. I would be very annoyed at that. She's clearly got them from like a one pound shop because if they can't even stretch for a bit of more material to make a pocket, then Jesus Christ, they are some cheap jeans. The way this suit is made. Well, I mean, wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. I mean, I, I don't care. That's not a suit that you have to wear on an everyday basis. That's the suit you get given if you really have drawn the short straw in your job. If your career is dressing up as a smiley face, holding up signs, then I have no sympathy for you wearing that stupid outfit or the stupid design of that outfit. Go get a real job. My dad had his laptop for four years and he's refusing to take the plastic protector off. It's not a pr plastic protector. You know what that is? That's a jizz shield. Turns out I'm friends with a heretic. Well, if you eat pizza like that, then you're just a lunatic. Like, I don't get... I don't mind if you're going to eat pizza with a knife and fork. I don't get annoyed at that. But why would you eat from the center? I have no justification of why you would start eating a pizza from the center of the food. Take a piece of toast. If you're eating a piece of toast, you don't chew a bit out of the middle of it. You start from an end. The same with a pizza. Unless you're slicing it up, you can have it like... I, no, I just don't... No, psychopath. Psychopath, psychopath. The top of this infinity cube isn't centered. Yes, it isn't centered and it is, in, it, it is mildly infuriating because I am a bit of a maths nerd and like geometry and all that. You are a sad, strange little man. Free beer? Ah, ah, ah. Not really free beer. It's free Wi-Fi and cold beer. So I guarantee that most of the people that turn up to that pub are alcoholics. The middle window makes me irrationally angry. I'm going to have to agree. If you are hiring somebody to build a house, I mean, I don't know anything about building houses or building in general, but 
you should have some sort of like knowledge of geometry and how to make things align properly. So it's like if we start the window six centimeters from this side of the wall, we should maybe end it six centimeters away from the other side of the wall. So, you know, it's freaking in line. My showers have never been the same since I spotted it. Since you spotted what? Because I haven't found it yet. If you have found it, let me know if you beat me to it because I've still not found it. What am I looking for? I haven't found it. This is annoying. Oh my god, I found it. Oh my god, I found it, and now I can't unsee it. That is annoying. Right, if you can't see it, I'm spoiling it for you right there. It's there. That should be great. Wow, that is very annoying. No hole in my coffee lid. This is the most, like, 2020 problem in the world. Oh my god, my coffee lid has not got a hole in it. I could, like, you know, take the lid off and drink my coffee. That could happen. But no. Oh, no, no hole in my coffee lid. Urgh, urgh. Wow. Jesus Christ. If they're the things you're moaning about, then it doesn't that just annoy me. That annoys me more that somebody is annoyed by that. It's like, take the freaking lid off and drink it like... <laughs> I don't know why, but I just spent 15 to 20 minutes just to annoy you. Sadly, mate, you've wasted a lot of your time because that doesn't annoy me. That just makes me feel very sad for you that you've spent your entire time ruining your own keyboard. It's not even mine. Mine's mine's fine. You've not come around here and ruined mine. You've ruined your own keyboard um, just so you're going to hopefully get a laugh on Reddit. And you have zero thumbs up. <laughs> Got a math question wrong because there was no decimal digit. Okay, that is annoying. That point zero, you don't have to include that. That doesn't matter. It, point zero represents nothing. If it was point zero 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 one, then yes, I will accept that you have got an incorrect answer. But 77 is the same as 77.0. Mic drop in maths knowledge bombs, even though you probably already knew that. You are a sad, strange little man. <laughs> oh God, that would be annoying. That would be so annoying. I have a, I have a cupboard like that, to be fair. And it is very annoying. However, I could recommend... Wow, yeah, that's annoying. A recommendation, just get two sticky magnet type things, stick one to the door, stick one to the frame inside the door, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and you have now a door that shuts. Best in red, worst is in green. That's YouTube thumbnails for you in a nutshell. Half of them time, they don't make sense. I do things in thumbnails that are very annoying, even though... I see them everywhere, get annoyed by them, and I'll still use them myself because I like to follow trends like a little sheep in the hope of getting one more view than the 19 views I always get. Depression. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. This is not how you eat a burger. Yes, it isn't. If you're the type of person that eats a burger and like pulls it apart like a weirdo, then get out of here. Get the fuck out of here! Out of here. When you hold the door open for someone and they use the other door. It's not that for me. It's the it's it's more so when what annoys me is when you open the door, you hold the door for somebody, and it's not like they're right behind you. It's like they're a good few steps behind you. So you're holding the door open and you're like, they don't even hurry to get through the door. They just casually walk in, walk past you, and don't even say thank you. So you're stood there holding the door open, then walking past you, not saying thank you, and you're like, ha, yeah, you're welcome, you fuck. I don't know what emotion I should be feeling right now. The emotion you should be feeling right now is a big fat girl. Another one of those rich brat kids destroyed the charging port. Charging ports and charging cables. I see some people with some absolutely abysmal conditioned charging cables. Take my charging cable, for example. Mine is very normal. It's very straight. There's no freeze like all at the end. There's some people I see that part is like hanging on by the threads of the cable. This has all been exposed. How does that happen? How the freaking hell does that happen? The placement of this hole for pictures at my state fair. Why? Yes, why? <laughs> why? Why have a hole where the lion's head is? No, we don't want to pretend we're a lion. No, little Timmy, you can't stick your head where the lion is and pretend you're a big scary lion. No, instead, would you like to be a floating head? No? Well, it's the only hole, so stick your head in it.
Anyways, uh, I want to thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below if there's anything else you want to see. Uh, I want to thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That is a mouthful. I am waffling, and I shall see you next time. Bye.